Hello and welcome back to another video for Reading Monstrosities, a channel dedicated to the discussion and review of transgressive and horror literature. So today's book that I will be discussing and reviewing is No One Rides for Free by Judith Sonnet. It's a novella, a very short book, but also a very powerful book. Um, I just finished it a couple days ago and uh, it stuck with me. It's one of those books that, um, as soon as I finished it, I was kind of speechless. <laughs> um, it's a very upsetting book. Um, she even says so. There's trigger warnings all over. It's a very upsetting book. Very disturbing and uh, just very brutal. But it's also a very, very good book. Um, a little bit of the plot, hopefully without giving away too many spoilers. Um, it follows the story of a woman named Jody, who is um, taking her college-age kids, driving them back to college. They're driving through the rural deserts of Texas. Uh, she stops for gas, and while she's out of the car, her car is uh, invaded by a madman who kidnaps her and her kids and uh, forces them to drive out into the desert, along with another old woman that he uh, kidnaps along the way, where he ends up sexually assaulting them and doing, uh, forcing them to do very um, sexually demeaning and degrading things. And it's, uh, as I said, very upsetting. It uh, makes you feel terrible reading it. Um, the author even says so. This book is designed to upset you, and for good reason, because it is about a horrific crime that happens. Um, so it's definitely not a book for the faint of heart, or it's definitely not an easy read, uh, but it is a very good read. And if you are a fan of extreme horror, this is one that will stick with you, and this is one you should probably check out. Um, there's a lot of words that come to mind when describing this book, as I've already said, upsetting, um, brutal, um, but the word that really sticks with me, the one that stuck with me once when I finished reading it was powerful. That is the word that stuck with me. And what is so powerful about this book that I thought is that it does such a good job of portraying the absolute evil that a human being is capable of. The villain, he is one of the most horrible people I've ever read about. And I've read a couple of books recently. Um, another one that I read recently is um, Violence on the Meek by Stuart Bray. That one had another great villain in it. And this book has another really, truly horrible, awful uh, villain in it who is very effective um there's nothing uh, it's extreme horror but the horror isn't so extreme as to be outside of the um realm of reality the scope of reality um it's not so over to over the top that things that what happens in the book can't actually happen in real life and unfortunately stuff like what happens in this book does happen in real life sexual assault kidnapping murder, all kinds of horrible things. Um, so that's, it, it's very gritty, gritty realism with, um, within the horror. And in some ways, the as I was reading it, one of the comparisons that I made between this, uh, was between this book and The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. Now, they're both two totally different books, different premises, different scenarios, but um, the gritty earthiness, the realness of the horror in both books is uh, what I made a comparison on. Um, the Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum is about a case of extreme child abuse, uh, abuse of a teenage girl, and this one's obviously a book about uh, an extreme case of kidnapping and assault. Um, both horrific circumstances that can and have happened in real life, and that's what makes it so powerful that you don't have to delve into the realm of um, the supernatural or, you know, zombies or monsters, which I love. I love reading that stuff. But at the end of the day, you can pick up a zombie novel or a vampire novel, set it aside and say, well, that's just fantasy. You know, you can't do that with a book like this. And that's what made it so powerful. So I'd like to take just a few minutes to talk about the writing itself. What's really interesting about this book is that it was only written, it was apparently written edited and released in a matter of 10 days, uh, <laughs> which is quite an accomplishment. Uh, even for a short book, that is really quite an accomplishment. And um, 
uh, and it's just even more impressive because the quality of the writing is absolutely superb. It is really good. Judas on it is an excellent writer. Uh, the prose, it's clean, it's crisp, it's detailed, it's graphic, um, and it's just really good. And considering the short amount of time in which this book was written, it really does the job. So excellent job with the writing. Um, the characters, uh, the characters are Jody and her two kids, and the old woman that also gets kidnapped along the way, and obviously the villain who is very well written. Um, the villain, he is pure evil, completely for the hell of it, and that's what makes it really scary. That, to me, that's what makes this type of horror even more effective, is when the evil speaks for itself, there's no other purpose behind it other than to just be sadistic and evil. And that is really powerful, <laughs> going back to that word. Um, the other characters, uh, Jody. I don't want to say she's really a likable character. Um, you, uh, you know, I don't know if she's likable or dislikable, um, but you definitely feel for her throughout the book and her children and um, the other woman that gets kidnapped. Um, because it's such a short book, there's not a lot of room for character development. There is a bit. There is just enough character development that you um, you empathize with the characters and you get a sense of who they are. So good job with that, being able to develop characters in such a short, short amount of time. Um, and obviously the villain is just straight up evil. <laughs> Very well written there. So I would definitely recommend this book to the reader who has the guts to stomach it. Um, you won't be disappointed in this one and it will stick with you for a long time. So changing gears just a little bit, uh, this edition that I have here um, has a, a, sh a bonus short story at the end, which was a lot of fun, actually. It definitely um, a lot more lighthearted, I thought, than the, um, than the title story. Um, the bonus story is called Cream Queen. It is about a, uh, uh, it follows the story of a young woman who has a sexual fetish for popping pimples at the extent that she goes to to um, satisfy this fetish. It's a, um, it's a gross out story that I laugh my ass off reading because it's, uh, it, it, I just found it funny and it was a very welcome relief from the severity and the intensity of the, um, of the title story. So all in all, um, on the monstrosity scale, uh, which I just made up apparently, 10 out of 10. The writing, 10 out of 10. The book is No One Rides for Free by Judith Sonnet. Very good job with this book. Powerful, gut-wrenching, stomach-churning. Wow, powerful, powerful. So I will definitely be reading more of Judith Sonnet's books in the future. So thank you for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe, uh, watch my other videos. They all have like 20 views on them right now, so try to get that number up. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you uh, stick around to see more of what I come up with. Thank you.